Right, all right, all right. Welcome to another Infinity Kingdom guide. In this one, we're gonna continue down the road of Tower of Knowledge passive reviews. In this one, we're gonna have a look at the age-old question, Wisdom Concentration. What, which one's better? I've seen, uh, I've been asked by a number of players and I've seen a number of players discussing this in various Discord channels. Um, people saying, oh, at certain, uh, at certain attribute levels, uh, wisdom's better, in this case, concentration is better. So I thought, let's investigate, let's actually test it out, see, wisdom versus concentration, uh, understand how magic attack, magic damage are quite similar, but, uh, I mean, they both interact in the damage equation, but they're also very different in the way that they modify the output of the damage made. So let's dive on in. First of all, what is Wisdom and Concentration? Wisdom and Concentration are both uh, Tower Knowledge passives. Uh, you can unlock and max them and equip them on Immortals in order to boost the uh, magic damage dealt by said Immortals. This means you often pair them with a mage like Merlin or Empress Wu or Baldwin or someone akin to that. Wisdom's unlocked at level 1, and at max it increases magical attack by 60%. Concentration is unlocked at level 24, and at max level it increases magical damage by 30%. You can always kind of see the difference, right? One is magical attack and it's by 60%, one is magical damage and it's by 30%. So that leads into what is the difference between magical attack and magical damage. The damage you deal is based on multiple things. In the attack attribute value of your immortal, the ultimate, uh, the passive abilities percentage of damage, the magic penetration attribute value relative to enemy protection attribution. Uh, you can critical hit, you can miss. Well, magic can't miss, but physical can miss. Um, there's a lot of things that, uh, oh well, and troop count of course. Um, the troop count of your immortal is used to determine the actual damage output and is one of the, the most important things uh, in determining full damage. Um, in addition to, to all this going into the damage equation, you can also modify the output of the damage equation, meaning you can amplify the damage that's being dealt by debuffs, buffs and other modifiers such as concentration. In addition to, to this, uh, your attacks have a chance to critical hit, uh, further boosting the damage by, I'm getting on average around 170%, but it also, it also depends on the enemy resilience. Um, at this point, it, it's probably getting a bit confusing for some people, and it's important for me to mention that the precise damage equation of Infinity Kingdom remains a closely guarded secret and one that, while I have been working with a couple of guys getting getting kind of close to discovering what, what the actual damage equation is, there are still stats interactions that, uh, that we cannot fully explain, and as such, um, it, the actual damage equation does remain a mystery. We can't really uh, just toss everything into a simulator and figure out which one's better. Instead, we need to, uh, to test things out. We can't calculate it. Um, we have to actually test it. So I did a few tests um, to see which one's better, wisdom or concentration, uh, under different circumstances. I paired up an Empress Wu with uh, a Charles in the training grounds, and we did a couple tests. So training grounds is a good place to test because there are minimal interference from troop counts on our data. You know, Charles doesn't deal a lot of damage. Um, it's also very consistent because we don't have other immortals coming in, mixing it up. We don't. We can remove dragons. We can move. You know, we can really isolate just two immortals, terrible at, at normal attacking and just having the Empress Wu ultimate uh, be kind of the only thing that that really has effect. That being said, there is of course still differences and there are margins and the damage equation is not flat. It does have leeway and as such the results does as well, but more on that later. 
to test this, I made a simple test. First, I let them, I let my Empress Wu and my Charles fight uh, without any passives, passives at all, uh, in order to get a baseline damage. Um, we expect that damage from from both Wisdom and Concentration tests to be greater than uh, than the damage without either of them, uh, meaning that this is going to be our baseline. Secondly, we let them fight with only Wisdom equipped and lastly, we made them fight with only Concentration equipped. In this way, we did three different setups that should net us the damage without anything, the damage with Wisdom and the damage with Concentration. I did the fights 5-10 times for each and this let, leads us to the results. The outcome of these fights shows uh, which is best in a controlled environment. You know, this is given level 50 models with max equipment to seven troops, all the limitations of technology alliance buffs, uh, cities, etc. that we do have in training grounds. You know, these are the limitations we have to testing, but later we're gonna try and mix it up and see should this work outside as well. For now, these are the limitations and the results are that a baseline damage without any passives on was around an average of 128,000 damage on per Imperial fight. We are excluding critical hits and the damage on Wisdom was slightly higher. It was a decent amount higher, 580k average damage. On Concentration, our last one, we ran an average of 723,000 damage on Imperial fire significantly more than both uh, our default baseline and our wisdom. As such we can see that the damage amplification of, uh, of Concentration's magic damage boost is uh, quite a lot stronger than the uh, magic attack buff offered by wisdom. So wisdom, I mean wisdom does boost the damage get what a uh, 52,000 average so that's around 10% damage boost from running past um, the passive wisdom which in its own right is decent but it's nowhere near the damage I put the concentration gives us. This leads into further speculations. Um, I included this because I've seen that a lot of people are claiming that with high enough magical attack attributes um, you know, when the value of your magical attack becomes high enough, then wisdom supposedly should be superior to concentration. So I thought I'd put this to the test as well, sort of break the limitations as well and kind of see, okay, what happens if we scale around on the values. If we, let's, I mean, let's say we at some point in the future are going to be able to increase our base value by twice as much as we have now, would wisdom actually overtake um, concentration in its damage value. Uh, in order to, to test this, we need to test out how does magical attack affect the damage, the output damage. Is it uh, even close to being scalable in this manner? I tested this by removing the equipment on my Empress Wu. Her attack wand and her offhander um, are both level 50 fire elemental season 2 epic plus quality which uh, with them on nets her a uh, magical attack of 2.4k without the magic wand wand and without the the offhand uh, her magical attack drops to only 1000 uh, 1045 so 1k i did the exact same tests as before you know running first without any passives then with wisdom and finally with concentration in order to see okay if we ha more than half the uh, magical attack we expect that wisdom deals is, is almost non-existent as a damage modification modifier at this point definitely think that the the boost that concentration gives should be far higher than before relative to wisdom's increase. You know, if if we are if this hypothesis of wisdom at some point overtaking concentration in, in value, if magical attack becomes becomes high enough, then uh, then we uh, then this test should result in a greater uh, damage difference. Uh, you know, concentration should outrank wisdom 
by more than it did in our previous tests. That is, however, not exactly what the outcome says. Uh, the results of this test was a uh, naked, you know, no passive uh, fight, netting 489k damage on average. Wisdom netted us 545, 545k, of course, um, on average, and concentration 651k, meaning that the difference between running concentration and wisdom it's still huge but it's it's not as much bigger in fact it's actually smaller than it was before why it is smaller is certainly down to you know if we do a thousand of these uh, training hits it's gonna equal out more uh, more lean, linearly because uh, it's it, it uh, is weird that, that the difference is that way but what we do can what we can't say based on these results is that it does not seem to be true that magical attack uh, the stat in itself has high enough impact on the damage equation for wisdom to ever be able to overtake concentration so I definitely uh, mark down this uh, claim as a false a myth <coughs> Right. So, how precisely the uh, the wisdom uh, wisdom interacts with the damage equation is still a mystery. But seen as we can't really uh, uh, seem to force any significant uh, differentiation by reducing and increasing the, the magical attack stat, um, it's safe to say that for any player at any level, concentration will always be superior to wisdom. As always. Please do subscribe to the channel. I consistently release new content here on the IK channel and on the official IK Wiki website. Links are in the description. On these channels, you can find guides from everything in IK from events to talents, passives, finished builds, and game mechanics. With that, I'm gonna leave you. And as always, thank you for watching and see you for the next one.